I can't even grind him up too much. Too. Um, what kind of experiment? Big That's good stuff. <laughs> it's really good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one would be mine. Mmm. Really good. Alright. It's delicious. It's a great coffee, Jeffrey. You did a good job. Would you consider yourself a coffee enthusiast? Uh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs>
We're gonna go from bottom to top just because the bottom shelf is empty and this is the middle shelf. So this is the kettle. So of course this is what we use to warm up the water. Oh, and right before continuing on this video, I do want to let you guys know this is not a girl's coffee cart. This is a man's coffee cart. That's why there is no decorations. That's why literally the bare minimum and just what you need because it's not mine, it's Jeffrey's. But this is the kettle. So we put this on the stove top to warm up the water. This is your coffee grinder. So you have your coffee beans over here, whichever ones it is that you choose. I think right now he has hazelnut. So you've got your coffee grinder. This just cough, the coffee beans are just grinded in there. You plug it in. This is your milk frother. So you put your milk in there and froth it. It's on nice. These are little espresso mugs. So they are super small and tiny because they are meant for espresso. I'll see one in a second. So this here is for your milk. So if you want to froth your milk and you don't want to use the big milk frother, you have the handheld milk frother. This is your little mug that you can put your milk in and have your handheld milk frother and you know, all of that goodness. Right here is your big mocha pot. So this is your espresso maker. So this one serves six. It makes six servings of espresso, which is pretty awesome. It's really big. As you can see, it's as tall as the little espresso mugs tower. So that's pretty awesome. And then behind there, we have the coffee beans. So this is the middle shelf. And moving on to the top shelf, you have your scale. I guess someone's very technical about how much coffee beans to use or how many coffee beans to use. These are just cute little measuring cups. I think these are just for looks. I don't know if you can actually use these, but we had these up here for Christmas and they just have not made their way back into storage. But we just got these from Walmart. They're just kind of cute. This is the French press. I almost forgot the name, but this is the French press, so you have your coffee and all that is some goodness. These are just clear glass mugs. We don't actually use these or we haven't yet used them. There's six of these, but we only keep two of them here just for looks. This is the small mocha pot. So this makes one serving of an espresso. So this is like a single serve. And it's pretty awesome because it's like a miniature version of the big one that is down here. So for reference, this is the size difference. So this is the one serving of espresso and this makes six. So it's pretty awesome. So one thing that I do want to point out is Jeffrey bought this one on Amazon and it says made in Italy, Mocha Express, and it's got the brand, the particular brand, kept seeing mocha pots that were not the exact same brand and when I'm telling you that he's very technical about his things he specifically said no I don't want it because I want it to be the exact same brand as my mocha pot at home and I was like oh my gosh so when I found it I knew I had to get it because it needed to be the identical one so that's the story behind that last but not least is this craft coffee book it's just like a simple book I think it's honestly up here just for decoration but I think Jeffrey does reference it we'll flip through just for books because I don't know if you're actually allowed to show books online because I think there might be like a copyright situation with those but just to flip through it's kind of like history of coffee and like info on it but yeah very crafty and we got this from the Amazon store so we actually went to Raleigh and they have an Amazon store there and this was one of the books that was uh, there and Jeffrey was like oh cool that's really awesome and I was like get it because that's something that you would definitely like to get and so we have it here on display and it's definitely very put together it makes the scenery look super awesome so yeah that's the story behind Jeffrey's coffee cart so disclaimer this is not mine this is totally Jeffrey's coffee cart that's why it's so manly looking and it only has the bare minimum of what you need to make coffee. What I mean by that is that there's no life with coffee or my dream of coffee. There's no little bulletins or flowers or anything on there. 
because it's just how he is. And I'm not gonna decorate it, so that's super cute. But that's Jeffrey's coffee cart. Small thing that I did forget to mention, there are little wheels, so that's awesome. You can lock them. You can lock them and unlock them, and that's pretty awesome. And he did get this for Christmas, so I'm very excited about that. Fun fact, these are coffee grinds in there. <laughs> that's why that thing grows so healthy. 